Ah, this keeps falling down. Oh my god. Third time lucky. I keep trying to do an introduction for this video, but I just can't do it. So I'm just gonna go right in and be like, hi guys. Um, this is a video all about tattoos and piercings, but mainly tattoos. So I wanted to talk about my tattoos. I don't have that many, um, but I have a few dotted around. Um, got two on my legs. But I thought this would be a cool video to do, mainly for myself, um, so that I can look back in a few years and be like, wow, look how much has changed. Or not changed, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be changed. But yeah, let's just jump right in. I'm going to talk to you about where I got them from, why I got them done, and what I want and all that sort of jazz. So the first tattoo I got, I was actually 17. Um, I got it in Spain on a holiday with my friend and his parents. Um, I asked my mom before the holiday, can I get a tattoo done? And I was very strictly told no. And I didn't listen. It's one of those tattoos which my family don't hate. It's a nice tattoo, but the circumstances it was done under, could have been better, a lot better. But I still love it to this day. Um, had I have got it of age when I was supposed to, probably would have made it a nicer memory. Um, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was my first ever tattoo. It was a great place that I got it done. The artist was lovely. Um, and yeah, I still like it to this day. I wouldn't change the placement of it either. I think it's in quite a nice area. But yeah, this is it. It's like two hands with little flower um but yeah i really like it so it has a really godly meaning behind it but it's there so the second tattoo i got i was again 17 um but this time it was with parents consent and it's really really cool because i got it done in miami um we went to miami inc originally to see if they were able to do it on a 17 year old with parent consent because in miami you are allowed to get a tattoo with parents' consent, as long as it's signed and stamped by like an official, like we had to go to an American post office and show them my passport and everything and basically get the permission um, to do so. Miami Inc, however, didn't allow that, which is perfectly fine. It is up to the tattoo studios, whether they want to do that or not. Um, but then I got this one done at another place. Um, and yeah, they were incredible. My tattooist was called Cody. He was amazing. I told him the idea. Um, and he loved it and he went away, drew it up and I got it tattooed. Um, and that is this one here, I'll do a close up, but I love music and um, I've got my own record player and you know, so I just wanted that on my arm. And again, placement of it, I love, I love that it's like the first one you sort of see on that side of my arm. Um, but yeah, again, amazing experience. My mum and dad loved this one. It was for my, it was a present for my 18th birthday. And I was 18 like a month later. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like I was just 17, like I was nearly 18. Um, but yeah, love that. Most of my tattoos you'll see are in a traditional style. I really love the classic American traditional. Um, so that is basically why I've gone for with all my tattoos. Okay, so moving forwards, I am actually 18 now for this tattoo, uh, but I booked it. Did I book it when I was 17? I think I did. Because he had like a really long waiting list, this guy. Um, it's called Danny, um, based in London, Seven Doors Tattoo. He's moved now. Uh, I think it, oh, what tattoo? It's another shop, but basically, an incredible guy. Amazing designs. I messaged him, I was like, I want, a gypsy woman um, with tattoos on her body, on my arm. He drew up two designs and was basically like, pick one, if you don't like those, we'll draw up another one. Um, and I ended up picking, oh, you can't, yeah. It's this one here. Um, again, I'll do a close up, but oh my God, I am in love with it. So I traveled from Birmingham to London with my dad. Um, it was in Shoreditch. We went around for the day, had like a really cool day out, got the tattoo. And oh my god, it was just brilliant. My dad was sitting next to me, we were chatting away, having a great time. And still to this day, I think it's probably one of my favourite tattoos. So unbelievably happy with that. Um, and we'll cherish that day forever. So shortly after I got my Gypsy Woman, this bad boy got done. Um, this was from a guy called Jake. It was a local tattoo shop in like my area in Aldridge. Um, and it hurt a lot. Um, but I love it like a few a bit of it's like dropped out on the end which I could probably get fixed up but with elbows 
it's different for everyone but they are a rough area and you know you are always using it so it will fade some people tend to like miss out the middle section um which is probably what i'm going to do on this side but i want to get a web on this side so they're going to be slightly different but i'm so excited to get that done i can't wait for lockdown to end so i can just go and get some tattoos um just waiting on when tattoo shops will open but yeah my elbow i love it like i just love yeah i love this one this is sick i always just sort of stare at it when i haven't seen it in a while and just really really like it even though the pain is painful um but yeah there's not really a backstory behind that i want my elbow done i got it done i said i said to someone i was at college um and i was quite known as the girl with the tattoos even though i had two um, but I was always had like my sleeves rolled up or like a t-shirt on. I was like, mm, look at me, I'm so cool. Uh, and then one day I was like, I want to get my elbow done. Booked it and everyone was like, she's not going to do it. And then I did it. So that was a little story behind it. But yeah, really love it to this day. And yeah, I think it's really pretty. So as you can see, most of my tattoos are done by different people. And again, we've got another artist and it is for this globe here. Uh, she's called Holly, she works in Birmingham, um, in the custard factory in Digbeth, and oh my gosh, their shop is incredible, like incredible. Um, I will list down all the artists' Instagrams below uh, for you and where I got them done, but it's, again, it's one of my favourite. I wanted a globe to represent travel and I love going on holiday and I'm hopefully travelling next year so depending on everything going on um but yeah the globe i love it it's got a little little fly because you're flying across the world um and yeah again traditional theme uh so yeah not much behind it but great experience getting tattooed didn't really hurt in that area either which is brilliant um but yeah okay so i can't really remember which one came next but i think it's this one um this was done in Leeds um, by a guy called Adam. Again, I'll leave him below. Crying heart, always wanted one. Always wanted it on the front of my wrist. Um, I just said, choose whatever colour palette you want, go for it. Um, and yeah, I think she's wicked. Again, no meaning behind it. I really just wanted a crying heart on my arm. Um, I'd love to say it's a cool backstory, but it's not. But yeah, wicked experience. The guy's lovely and couldn't recommend him enough if you're ever in Leeds. So yeah, um, that's that one. My next one is this one here. Now this probably has the most meaning of all my tattoos. Um, does it? Yeah, I think it does actually. Again, it's by the same guy that did this, uh, by Adam, and it is a camera. That says click, click. I will um, do a little close up of it. But, oh my gosh, I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. I went to New York in, I've been a few times, but this one is based off the time I went in 2013, which was the first time I went to New York. 2013? Yeah, it must have been. Um, we went on the night bus, the tour bus that goes around, and we had the best like tour guide. He was incredible, he was hilarious, he was a proper New Yorker, um, quite well known as well. And he basically, every time there was something worth taking a photo of, he would say, click, click. Um, and that is all you would hear on this night. So it like, click, 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 click. And I loved it. And we all made a family joke about it. We, for the rest of the holiday, we would carry on saying, like, click, click, if something was there. Um, and then it also links in with the fact that I'm a photographer, or like, I used to do music photography. I still do, I would if it was allowed. But, um, yeah, I'll leave my photography account down below, but I studied like photography and film at college and I now do digital journalism. So it all links and it just made for a really nice tattoo. I originally wanted it like lower on my arm, but the space just wasn't right, didn't fit right. Um, so when Adam was like, put it on the upper arm, I was a bit unsure. It was the first sort of tattoo above my elbow. Um, but I love it to this day. I think it's wicked. And yeah, I can't wait to get some others around it to compliment it. But I love that tattoo. So the next one I got is another really cool story. Um, I live in Leeds, usually. I'm in Birmingham at the minute, but I live in Leeds. And I was stalking this tattooist 
who worked in Brooklyn in New York and I was going to New York later that year and thought for my birthday because I was spending my 20th birthday was it my 20th? yeah I was spending my 20th birthday in New York basically um, or Chicago and I was like I could get a tattoo in Chicago or I could get one in New York this um, woman happened to be in New York and I was like hmm so I just followed her account for a while um, really liked her work and then she put up some flash and oh my gosh I fell in love it's this gorgeous like hand with flowers and bees and I will tell you a quick story this teddy bear right here is called Fred um, he used to have a bee that sits on his nose it's in my mum's drawing box at the moment but I would just play with this bee all the time and I just really like bumblebees and so when I saw this design with the bee on it and the hand it just sat really well with me and I thought you know what I would love that and I would love it on my leg um, I thought that would be the best spot to compliment it because it would have a big enough surface area and all that jazz so I messaged her and was like hi I'm coming to New York in this time period it's gonna be my birthday do you have any slots at all and she was like yeah 8th of September um, at this time I can't, was it, like, it might have been like 6 in the evening it was quite late um, and I was like, hell yeah. So sent a deposit over PayPal and basically was looking forward to my birthday then. My birthday was the 9th of September, so it was literally like the day before my birthday. We went to Coney Island for the day, um, went on some rides, and then the shop was like, so on a few stops before Coney Island. So we obviously went there first and went back because it was at the end of the day. Um, that's my family, they have to just sit and wait for me <laughs> being tattooed. But yeah, this is it and I am absolutely in love with it. I think with this leg I'm going to keep like black work um, because I think the hand is just gorgeous and I just want to keep that sort of style with that leg because um, the other leg with the hand on it, the other hands, is colourful traditional so I think I'm going to like split those legs, one is a black and white leg and one is a colourful one so yeah really happy about that. Last but certainly not least I think, I feel like I've covered them all now, yeah I must have done, I've got one left this little guy here this little flower um, this is done in the same shop as the heart and the camera um, but by a different artist I'll leave him below as well he's called Ellis and yeah wicked guy wicked tattoo um, it was a Friday and 13th flash sale you basically turned up chose one of their designs and it's like 40 quid 31 pound plus nine pound tip um, and it's just for Friday the 13th it's a little bit fun I made a joke to two of my co-workers the night before after a few drinks um we'd just finished a shift we were at a bar and i was like i'm gonna get a tattoo tomorrow look they're all 40 quid anyone want to come so my mate aaron was like hell yeah i'll get a tattoo and i was like sick and then our mate jack was like yeah i'll do it so we went home i went to sleep and then i could just hear my phone ringing 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 in the morning and it was like wakey wakey um time for tattooing and I was like, completely forgot, didn't even click. Went to the bank account, got 40 quid out. We sat and had breakfast opposite the shop. Um, but it was so early and my head was pounding. And I was like, oh, I don't want to get a tattoo. But then I'm so glad I did because it just sits really nicely with the other two. So yeah, that was just a, a random spur of the moment tattoo, but it fits in with all my other like tattoos. So I was just really happy to get it. I have a lot of plans for my body and tattoos. Um, I love tattoos, I want to be as covered as possible. Um, I think the next ones I want to get are my shoulder and my elbow. Considering I'm 20, I've done well so far, um, but it's not a race. I've got my whole life to get tattoos. Um, but yeah, so there are a few plans there, which I'm very happy about. Um, but yeah, so tattoos are wicked. If you've got any tattoos, please show me them. I want to see any inspiration. Um, if there's any other sort of videos you want to see from me, um, please do let me know because, you know, I'm getting back into it. I love chatting. This was actually a really fun video for me to film. I love talking about my tattoos. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, it has been a wonderful speaking to you all and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much and enjoy. Please hit that subscribe and like button. Bye guys.